When talking to other women, whether it's friends or you guys or my family, the number one thing that I often hear is that their clothing is not only an issue, but it's also a big reason why they don't want to declutter and they don't want to be a minimalist. So today we're going to talk about how I have created my winter cozy capsule wardrobe and I'm going to give you all the essentials you need to create your own. So before I jump into my essentials for my winter capsule wardrobe, I wanted to let you know that these things that I'm talking about are actually going to be in the description below if you're interested in looking for things that are the same or very similar. But obviously, please shop your closet first because I guarantee you probably have something very similar. I also wanted to say if you do need some more help that I have a website where you can find anything from budgeting tips to decluttering your entire home. It's on minimalese.com. So if you're interested and need some more help, and I would love to help you there. So let's hop into my favorite part of my capsule wardrobe, which are my sweaters. Sweaters are very important in a winter capsule wardrobe because they are your layering pieces. They're the things that are going to keep you warm no matter where you are. So I have a few sweaters and the first one I'm going to show you is my sweater from Aerie. And I recently just got this for my birthday. It was on my wish list for things I really wanted. And it's because it is oversized, super comfortable. It has a hood for if it starts to rain or snow. It doesn't have pockets which I was slightly disappointed about in the beginning. Actually, it's turned out great because I think it is actually more flattering because it just lays flat without all the pockets. So my second sweater that I wanted to show you is this yellowish mustard color, which my husband loves to make fun of me because it is one of my absolute favorite colors, even though not the favorite color of many people, but I love this color. Picking something in your favorite color, whether it's a little bit outlandish like this mustard color, and only having one or two pieces that are in that color will build a little bit of consistency throughout your winter wardrobe. I also have this mock turtleneck striped sweater, which is very comfortable. I bought it because I wanted something because I don't have a scarf that is a little bit higher on my throat because I was getting a little bit sick. And so having some kind of turtleneck or mock turtleneck, I don't really like tight turtlenecks. They bother me and I'm always pulling on them. So once again, it is a little bit oversized, so it's easy to layer. And for me, that is so crucial in a sweater. Anything that I'm looking for in the sweater department is going to be slightly oversized. I think adding and throwing in a little bit of pattern in a winter capsule wardrobe is fun because remember, these are things that you're going to be layering. And so having a little pattern that can go with all of your regular solids, it's going to add a little pop in your wardrobe. The next essential in my wardrobe after sweaters are long sleeve shirts. So I own two white long sleeve shirts and two black long sleeve shirts. And this is why. So one of the long sleeve shirts is loose and the other one is tight. So I have that for both white and black, easy to layer items. While you are building this capsule wardrobe, something I want you to write down is I want you to make sure that this is something that is very comfortable for you to wear. Does it breathe? Does it have a little bit of stretch maybe? And is it something that feels good against your skin? Because if it's not gonna feel good, you're not gonna wanna have to layer it. You don't want anything that is too tight that's gonna feel weird under a loose sweater. You wanna make sure that you are picking things while you're trying them on that feel good with one or two things over them and that you can easily fit your arms into your coat. So if you don't have the energy to go try something on, then it's probably not worth your money. Now heading down, we're gonna go to the pants that are essential in my winter capsule wardrobe. And there's only a few, but I do have one pair of jeans that are from J. Crew, which are cut off at the bottom and they are my favorite. I have worn these jeans so many times over the past couple years that the button actually ripped out of the hole and I had to get a new button, which was fine. I figured out how to fix it myself, which was great. Uh, but these are the ones I go to all the time because they easily go with the boots that I wear all the time, which is a great thing for you to be thinking about if you are buying replacement pants that for winter, you want to make sure that they can either fit over your boots or right on top of your boots so it doesn't become uncomfortable. The other two pairs of pants that I have are a dark wash jean and a light wash jean. Now, like I said, I am not teaching full time anymore, but the wonderful thing about where I was teaching was that my principal let us wear jeans all the time, as long as they looked nice. So the jeans that I have 
are not ripped jeans. They don't look bad because my principal always allowed us to wear them every day anyway because he was just a saint. I have a flare dark wash pair and I have a light wash pair from Loft and both of them can easily fit over my boots, which like I said, is essential. I feel like it's nice to have both because the stretcher light pair, I can easily fit my leggings under if it's a brutally cold morning. And then the darker pair are when maybe I'm going on a date night or there is a nice work function for my husband that I wanna to go to. And I can kind of dress them up a little because they are so dark washed. My last winter bottoms, which you've probably seen me in a lot, are my black leggings. And they are just from Target. They are very simple black leggings, but they have lasted me a couple of years. You can't see through them, which is absolutely essential in any pair of leggings. And they are just flexible. They're easy for me to wear and pull on, and they're not too tight, which I think is also essential when looking for a comfortable pair of leggings. One of you beautiful people wrote a comment on my video about my perfect capsule wardrobe, which I will show you right here, but I'm also linking it below. And she wrote about being a child in the 60s and how she used to be able to open her drawers with ease and there was barely any clothes in them and how the hangers in her closet could easily be slid all together. I think she said like 10 inches wide uh, worth of clothing in her closet and how much simpler that is. It got me really thinking about clothing and how it's evolved over the years. And so I'm going to do some more research and create a video about that. And if you want to hear about it, then throw a smile emoji below and I'll make sure that it comes out next month. And because of fast fashion, we have created now not four seasons, but 52. This winter capsule wardrobe is really gonna jumpstart you on the right foot of not following that fast fashion, but creating a winter wardrobe that you both love and feel very comfortable in. The other two essentials I have for winter are my hat and my gloves, which I got both of them when I was in Copenhagen last spring, which I know it was spring, but it was actually really cold that week we were there. 100% wool and they are so warm and comfortable. And what I feel about these two pieces of clothing is not only were they just made very well, but they are gonna last me a long time. So spending a little bit of extra money on something that is quality, that is made well, is gonna last you longer. And so no, I don't have extra gloves. I don't have an extra hat. So I do have to pay attention to them. I have a coat that is very long. I got last year. This coat is amazing. I actually got it from Target, but it's not Target brand. It's long, it goes over my bottom, which to me as somebody that easily gets cold is an essential. Now I know I look like I'm wearing a sleeping bag, so I look very silly, but I don't really care because I'm warm. So now we've reached the very bottom and we're at our shoes. When it comes to shoes, I do pay very close attention to whether it's a good brand, whether the stitching is really good, whether it has a good weight to it and feels balanced, because often really cheap shoes will be extremely light and won't have any girth to them, any weight to them, especially if you're talking about winter boots. The winter boots I do have, I got about two years ago and they are amazing. I have worn these basically every single day and I still do and they're very comfortable. The only thing I've replaced is the inserts inside of these Ugg shoes these Ugg boots, but I will say the leather has held up really well. The stitching still looks great. Nothing has come undone. And so it really shows me that spending a little more money is going to go a long way. So if you enjoy learning about minimalism, remember to hit that subscribe button so you can get my next video next week. And remember to shop your closet first. And as you're looking through things, there are only four seasons, not 52. So break apart your capsule wardrobes into just four different seasons. Ah!